All right, I'd like to do a review here because what you've seen on the last few slides is the product rule, which we have in blue there, and the quotient rule, which we have in red. Okay, and a couple of things are key. If you need to have the same base, okay, so this is very important for both of them. You need to have the same base, this A value. So if I have a, a 7 to the 5 times a 7 to the 4, okay, what I can do is I can keep the 7 as my base. And I can add 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay. But if I have a, a 7 to the 5 and a, a, a 3 to the 4, okay, I cannot do anything with that using product rule. Okay, because they don't have the same base. 7 and 3 are not the same. So product rules only work when you have the same base. Okay. And the question is why? Why? Here's why. If I have 7 to the 5, remember this means multiplication, isn't that 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7? 5 times, right? And if I have 7 to the 4, isn't that 7 times 7 times 7 times 7? 4 times, okay? So really, if I, if I look at it closely, this means multiplication, right? That dot means multiplication. And if I have a bracket of all multiplication and another bracket of all multiplication, the brackets actually don't mean anything. So what I really end up with is 7 times 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 7, or 7 to the ninth because there's nine of them, right? So seven to the ninth is just seven times seven, nine times. And that's why the exponent, or sorry, that's why the product rule works for multiplication, but it only works if these bases are the same, right? Remember the earlier slide? You get the base and the exponent. The two bases need to be the same for the product rule to work, okay? It's the same thing with the quotient rule, only it's division. Okay, the bases need to be the same. Right? So we'll use the same numbers here. Right? Let's say I have 7 to the 5 over 7 to the 4. Okay? Again, it won't work if that's a 7 and that's a 3. It works only if they're the same. Now because I'm dividing, what it's saying is I need to subtract the exponents. So I keep the 7, 5 minus 4, is 1. So I have 7 to the 1, which we know really is just 7. Right? And the question again is why? Why does it work? Right? Well, it works 7 to the 5. We've gone over this. It's 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7, 5 times, divided by 7 times 7 times 7 times 7, 4 times. And if we get out our red, well, what's, this is division. 7 divided by 7, that's just 1. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 7 divided by 7 is 1. And 1, we're left with a single 7. We're left with a single 7. Okay. I'm going to make a slight change. What if this was 7 to the... Uh, I don't know, 7 to the 8, right? Well, we would have 8 minus 4 because it's division, so we're subtracting. 8 minus 4 is 4, which would give me 7 to the 4, right? Which would no longer be equal to 7. It'd be equal to 7 to the 4. Okay? Following along with y, 7 to the 8 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 7 to the 8. But using the same get rid of the sevens logic, I would be left with four of them, and that would be seven to the fourth. Okay, so there's lots of little pieces, but the key is that these bases are the same. Okay, now sometimes the base has a variable in it. Okay? So we'll take a second. You can rewind it if you need to see this part again, because I'm going to I'm going to erase this now. Okay. 
what if the variable, what if the base has a variable? So let's say this is uh, 5m squared times 5m to the uh, um, ninth. Well, that's okay because 5m is the base. They're both the same. So this would be 5m to the 2 plus 9 is 11. Okay. We'll get in in future slides what to do with this. But for now, you can still use this product rule. Okay. Same thing here. If we had, uh, let's say, 3x to the 7th um, over 3x cube, lots of threes there, okay, well, the bases are the same, so it would still be 3x, 7 minus 3, because we're dividing, would be 4, and you'd have 3x to the 4, okay, and there's something further we can do with that a little later, okay, I hope that makes sense, and we'll see you next slide.